it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with, <laughs> I was about to say 30 inks, 30 days, I'm coming to you with an ink flight. Ink flight, my favorite day of the month. It actually showed up yesterday, but um, I wasn't able to record the video yesterday, so I've been like dying. I know that Dormouse posted a video last night, and I will link it in the cards and in the description box. Um, I have purposely not watched her video yet, because I'm like, I have it right here, I can wait till I open my box. I can wait, I can wait. Um, yeah, so we're doing that now, I'm very excited. So I have no idea. I'm guessing by the shape of the box that we have um, either a writing instrument or um, some kind of like useful, like we got the dip pen once or like, I don't know, maybe like a ruler or something. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm looking forward to this very much. Okay. I'm trying not to see what we I'm trying not to look at what we've got. I'm just pulling it all out and putting it in there. Okay, for swatching purposes, I have my uh, Moon Man N6 glass dip pen, and um, I also have random paint brushes. Um, somebody asked um, in the comments what paint brushes I was using. So here is. This long one that I really like a whole lot is a half inch. It's this. I don't know if you can see what it is. It's that. Um, then I also have, let's see, this isn't coming through. This was in a set. It's a quarter inch. You can't really read this one. Artist Loft Necessities. And this came from that same set. This is a one and a half. It doesn't say what kind of brush it is, but it's like that. And then this is another one from a rain. I think this is like a singular thing that I got. Um, a Windsor and Newton Cotman one stroke. Um, this is, oh, this is that same brush. And then I have two of these ones too. A number 12. There's the model number. These are acrylic brushes. And I just, I just used these because I just, I think these ones were on sale at one point and then, um, and then I was like, oh, I just want another set. So I just grabbed like a, or I think I just, I think I had these and didn't know it. And then I found them when I was cleaning and yeah, random craft store brushes that I got on sale, probably at Michael's. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see, we have all kinds of goodies. Let's, let's take a look. We have, ooh, a book band pen case. Okay. So I was kind of right. It holds a pen. Looks like it also holds stuff inside. That's pretty cool. And then it looks like it just like, it's like a bra strap. <laughs> you can just slide it on a book or something. Very cool, very cool. I've like adjusted it, so it's incorrect. Um, oh, they come in sizes. Or maybe it's just showing what it would look like on an A5 and a B6. Okay, yeah, this thing is for B6 and A5. It's a, Midori, a Midori book band case. Wait, yeah, Midori. Very cool, very cool. That could be useful. And then we have some stickers, some transfer stickers. Oh, cool. Oh, these are like the rub-on ones. You like... Oh, cool. These are neat. I, I have some other like this, and I haven't used them before, so... Awesome, very cool. Let's read what the thing says. And we'll find out what our inks are in a minute. The Midori Book Band Pen Case. To accompany summer reading or a trip journal, attach the Midori Book Band Case to carry your writing tools, refills, and accessories. The adjustable strap fits books, book sizes between B6 and A5. The pen holster pocket has a loop and a flap to hold the pen securely in place. Store spare ink cartridges, samples, blotter paper strips, highlighters, additional pens, or pencils in the convenient zippered uh, compartment. We randomly shipped one of several fabric color options to each ink flight box. Clearly, I got the orange one. I have no idea what other colors they come in. Um, this is actually like a really neat color, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. Midori journaling transfer stickers. Snack on these tasty transfer stickers to decorate your letters and journals. A dessert themed Midori transfer sticker. The dessert-themed Midori transfer stickers are a zero-calorie treat. They're a little trickier to use than regular sticker. That's okay, since instructions are printed on the back of the sticker sheet. The payoff. They look nearly seamless when applied correctly to a journal or planner page. Um, so I think what you do is you, um, you um, 
you like take the sticker and then rub it yeah you, I think you cut it oh yeah while keeping the transfer sheet and the white sheet together cut the section you wish with scissors and slowly remove the white sheet yeah and then you put this on what you want it to be on and then you rub it on and then you peel the clear paper off and then you get a sticker they're kind of fun to use okay let's see Ooh. okay okay Awesome. Very excited about the ink that we got today. It's ink that I've been wanting to try but haven't gotten. I actually have had them in a um, um, in my cart at uh, I, th I think Vaness. I think Vaness is the one that sells them. I've had them in the cart, but they didn't have all the inks, and I wanted to just get wait until they had the whole set. So I don't know if this is the whole set or not, but yes, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to try these inks. The packaging is lovely. It looks like really nice inks. They're all over Instagram. Um, yeah, I like the the packaging has like themes, and like each package, each ink in the in like each package, like you can put the boxes together, and it shows like a picture. It's really nice. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right. I think a couple of these are shimmers, or at least that one is a shimmer. Okay, let's read. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I'm also going to use, this is my, um, these are 30 inks inks. Um, get those out of the way. We're going to set these up in the order in which they are on the list. So we have... Cielo Cruel. I'm not sure if it's, I'm assuming it's all Spanish. They're, they're Mexican ink, so I'm assuming it's all Spanish pronunciation. I took Spanish in high school, so um, I do know a little bit of Spanish. Uh, Cielo Cruel. I don't know if that's really how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. Um, Cardona. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's, ooh, I think that has shimmer in it. That's freaking gorgeous. Okay. Cenote. Is this one? Mar Caribe. Is this one? Manglar. Is this one? Arena Blanca. And Ray. I don't, I'm not sure how you say it. Jaguar. Oh, look at that shimmer. Ooh. Okay. So it looks like we have two shimmer inks at least okay we'll find out we'll find out we're gonna be swatching this is this sheet of paper may look familiar this is the um sheet i was splatting on i have so much ink y'all i have so much ink to um, clean up like ink spotters on this like dust pad like oh that's hair gross um yeah it's just insane it's insane but I was like, no, no, I need to do this ink flight. I have so much cleaning to do. After I do the ink flight, then I'll clean up this desk area. Um, I'm off tomorrow, so um, I plan on doing a lot of that kind of thing tomorrow. Um, okay, so I'm also going to, I'm going to be using um, the last of this deck of coloring cards. Also, I have um, my uh, Hobonichi Weeks. Since I got it this week, I'm going to use this week to do a little thingy in here, and we can see what it looks like. So, let's get started. Let's get started. Cielo Corral. This color represents the sky at Zacateca City in northern Mexico, showing a deep blue color with big clouds. Okay, I need... I'm so out of sorts. I forgot how to do this. Okay. This is a really pretty like bluish gray color sort of it's interesting i'm intrigued i'm intrigued this is ink flight and this is july 2022 the brand is monarca which i don't think i actually mentioned here's what the blurb from the thing this month we travel to Mexico to sample inks from a newcomer to the fountain pen ink scene, Monarca Stationery. Explore the beautiful landscape of Mexico with the inspired collection of Monarca's fine writing and 
fine writing inks. Shading, shimmer, and sheen. This range of colors will excite and delight. So, yeah, very excited. Um, Cielo, I think, means sky, if I remember right. This ink looks so pretty. This looks like one of those, like, oh yeah. This is one of those, like, dusty blues that I freaking love. It's like a pretty grayish blue. It might. I'm wondering if it'll split out into some purple. But either way, stunning. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I am a fan of this one. Okay. Next up we have Cardona. This ink has a beautiful sheen and shimmer, inspired by the delicious cactus fruit tuna Cardona. Okay. So shimmer and sheen, which should be interesting. It looks really pretty in the, really rich. I have ink all over the section. Okay, this is from Ink Flight, July 2022. Reminds me of like a really rich Yamabuto or maybe like Diamine Robert. I'm not sure if that's what it'll actually look like when it's done, but that's what it brings to mind. Lenarca Cardona. It looks really cool on the dip pen. It was sticking to it. This is this ink, this particular ink is one that um, is pretty saturated. It coats the vial. That color is so pretty. I feel like Yamabuto is more pinky purple. This definitely is giving me more Robert vibes. I don't know if I'm seeing shimmer. So I don't know if I shook it up enough or if it needs to dry in order to see it. I put way too much on the page in the Hobonichi though, so hopefully we'll get lucky. See a bunch on that. Oh, I do see it. It's really subtle. It's definitely not subtle here. We got a lot of like green sheen and like a bronzy sort of shimmer, perhaps. Not sure if it's gold or bronze, but cute. Okay, next up we have cenote, inspired by the mystical cenotes found in the Riviera Maya. This ink has a deep sheen and twinkle of shimmer. Another shimmer. Ink flow. 
I think this is one of the ones that's always um, sold out. I did not do a scribble on the very first one, so I think I'm going to go ahead and um, do a scribble for that one real fast. And then we will return to our swatchy. I'm going to shake it up though because it said there's shimmer and it's been sitting here for a second. Oh, that blue. That's a really rich blue. It seems kind of dry and I'm not sure if it's just the brush I'm using or if it's the ink. some pretty shimmer this is yeah this is I think that's one of the ones that's always sold out that's why I hadn't been able to get the, the inks yet because of my own personal rules all right next up we have Menarca Mar Caribe this color is inspired by the Riviera's turquoise sea excellent oops And it looks like it's a really pretty turquoise blue. Boop, 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 boop. This is like one of those, I like this kind of turquoise. I like how bright and vibrant it is. It reminds me of um, Sailor Alaska and um, like Diablo Month and I think Van Diemen's has a version. I think it's a little lighter, but yeah, I enjoy this color of turquoise.
pretty. This one looks like it'll have really good shading too. Which I enjoy. I enjoy shading. I enjoy shading inks. Let's see. Monglar. This looks like a rich olive green, perhaps, maybe? This color is inspired by the lush mangrove forests at Riviera Maya. Not, I can't tell if it's like an olivey green or if it's like a grayish green, but we'll find out in just a second. I get more ink on the section than I do anywhere else. Okay, ink flight 722. This is. I'm gonna re dip. I didn't get a very good dip the first time. Okay, that's not really a great dip either, but. Manglar. ink all over my hands. This is so amazing. <laughs> it's so nice to be covered in ink. I can't tell you how excited I am. Okay. I have the windows open. I don't know if you can hear these birds that are chirping outside, but they are very talkative. And surprisingly, Pearl is not here to talk to them back. Um, she's hiding either in my closet or under the bed. That's like her favorite spot to be lately. Excellent. So it's kind of like a, it makes me think of like maybe like a, like a, it's not quite an olive green. It does seem like it has some gray in it, but it's not quite, I don't know, like forest green? Is that a good description? Or is forest green a little more vibrant? Uh, oh, oops, I forgot to do the... We have two left. We have this next one is Arena Blanca. This color represents the white sands of the Riviera Maya beaches. This is one that I was really excited, even though it's not a color that I usually even think about. Um, I, it's really interesting. It looks really interesting in the swatches, and I was very intrigued by it. Even though I don't think in general it would be one that I would use a whole lot. Definitely looks kind of sandy. 
definitely not a color I would gravitate to. I don't even know what pen I would put this in. But I can't, like, I don't know, maybe like a rose gold? Almost went over the text. Look, look how interesting this ink color is. I think it's definitely too light for some people. Yeah, definitely I think this is too light for a lot of people, but I think it's definitely, it's so interesting. These ink swatches look completely different on this Tumblr River paper. I can't wait to show you. So that was Menard, um, uh, Arena Blanca. And last but certainly not least, we have Ray Jag Jaguar. Paying tribute to North America's largest feline, this ink shines with shimmer gold to shimmering gold tones. Y'all, I have one ink. I have one ink card left. Seven, two, two. Monarca. going to go ahead and shake this up again because we do have shimmer. I'm going to do the book swatch first so hopefully it has a little more time to dry. And I'm going to shake it up one more time so we can do our painty swatch. So pretty. Oh, I gotta be careful. These ink splatters are gonna contaminate the swatch. This ink seems really dry. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna let these dry. And I'm going to finish, there's a couple of little things that I missed in the book swatches, so I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna fix those, and then um, I'll be right back to show off the swatches. And we're back. I think the swatches have had significant time to dry. Um, yeah, a couple of these scribbles are still drying, but here is what it looks like in the Hobonichi. Look at that shimmer and sheen. I love this. I like the small like glitter that they use in um, their shimmer inks. I love this one. It's like this kind of blue gray that leans sort of purple. Um, this does remind me of Robert, but maybe with less sheen, like Diamine Robert with less sheen and the added shimmer. I like this blue with the blue shimmer with the red, like the reddish sheen. Um, this is just a pretty pretty classic color. Again, it looks like it would have really nice shading. I don't know that it's one that I need in my collection because I have um, I have a Robert Oster ink that's sort of in the same color and then I also have Sailor Texas at the moment. Or not Texas, um, Alaska. So um, that is one that I think I wouldn't need. I mean, I don't need a bottle of any of them, but it's one that I don't feel like I need to add to my collection because I have 
I already have inks that look like this. Um, this green is really pretty. Um, it definitely looks more grayish on the Tomoe River paper here, um, but another stunning color. I don't, again, this is probably one that I don't actually need in my collection as well. I have quite a few of these like sort of grayish, like olivey grayish greens. Um, yeah, but really pretty. Also, again, I think it would have really nice shading. Um, this one looks like it has excellent shading, but I think it may be too light for people. It's definitely a very interesting color, which I appreciate. I think of I think of all of these inks, I think this ink, the Arena Blanca, is the most interesting, um, the most unique. Um, Monarca, the Ray Jaguar, is a beautiful. Um, I don't want to say like a tan. It's like it's it's. I mean, it's not as tan as this, but a light brown perhaps, um, with this pretty gold shimmer. Not really much sheen, but definitely a pretty color. Yeah, I think my favorite of the bunch is probably the Cenote or the Cardona or, or like the first three are probably my favorite. I really think like most people don't have this ink in their collection. This reminds me of like a more legible version of Ferris Will Press Earl Grey um, or Cream of Earl, not Earl Grey, Cream of Earl. Um, but yeah, yeah, overall I think this is a really interesting set of inks. Um, we do have a, a couple of blues and a couple like this 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 sort of color is pretty I'm not gonna say standard but it's common and um, yeah and some of these more interesting colors we don't often get like a lot of like greens or like we get a lot of blues in ink flights and I don't feel like we see as many perhaps greens and we definitely don't see like anything really in this color family usually if I were going to get a bottle of any of them I'm really leading hard towards this uh, Cielo Cruel, even though I have inks that are kind of like this, so I pr probably don't need it. Um, I really like the shimmer and sheen aspect of this particular ink. Uh, the blue is a really nice blue. It's like a darker blue, which I prefer. Um, and I like, even though I don't think that I would get a ton of use out of it, I think this is interesting. The Arena Blanca, I think I would really enjoy that. Let's look at our swatch cards though. Um, here we have the uh, Cielo Corral. I just really love this entire color. Reminds me of Diamine, the bashful blueberry that we got in the April box. Um, then we had the Cardona, which is here. The thing that makes this particularly interesting is the shimmer. So perhaps I would give this a second look, but um, yeah, I'm feeling very uh, responsible with my ink right now and not really like, I haven't bought a whole ton of pen things. Uh, recently, so I am kind of feeling the purchase responsibility at this point. I don't know if I'm going to buy any of these like on my own, but I definitely will enjoy the samples. And if I blow through a sample really fast, then I will probably reconsider. Uh, but yeah. Then next we have the Cenote. I just love this. Also reminds me of Diamine, one of the holiday ones. Um, I want to say Jack Frost, it might be Happy Holidays, but it's a similar blue. I think one of them has like gold shimmer and this is the blue shimmer, but uh, yeah, I think it's really nice. The ink seemed dry when I was writing with it and when I swatched with it, so I'm not sure if the ink is actually dry or if it's the brush and the gloss dip pen combo. It felt kind of dry though. Um, next up we have the Mar Caribe again. This is a pretty fair, I would say it's a fairly common. Um, ink color, lots of lines have this particular shade or shades close to it, so not necessarily one that I feel like I need, but um, but yeah, very pretty. Um, and then we have, yes, we have Manglar, which is this uh, pretty um, like drab sort of green. I think it's stunning. I think it's stunning. Um, then we have Arena Blanca, which I think, again, is probably the most unique, interesting ink in the Soul Collection that we've received. There's a couple of other ink colors. I think there's like an orange that I like that I've seen. I'm going to have to do more research. I don't remember which inks that I liked, um, but I feel like a bunch of them were ones that were sold out and reasons I couldn't get the inks before, so I may have to uh, fill out the collection with samples of the others. 
but this is definitely more the more interesting one. And then we have this Monarca Ray, which is, I feel like it's a chill version of Golden Barrel, where Golden Barrel is like a really orangey yellow, and this is like just, this is easier on the eyes for me, but you still get some of that pretty shimmer, especially where the ink goes down pretty heavy. So yeah. Well, I think this is a really interesting, unique collection. I like how natural the colors sort of look. Like we have a lot of, like you can see like the sea and the sky and um, I get like a whole nature vibe for, out of these colors. Um, yeah, I think this is a great collection and I am really excited that uh, we got these in the ink flight this month. So yeah, did you get the ink flight? Do you wish you got the ink flight? I'm not sure if they have any ink flights available. Again, here's the... Here's the goodies we received, the dessert sticker, rub, like rub-on stickers, or transfer stickers, I guess they call them, and then uh, this uh, book band pen case, which um, I don't have a notebook here to test it on, actually. Do I? No, I do not. I do not, but it looks like it's really, it's a really useful sort of thing. This, this part adjusts so it'll fit up to a B6, um, A5 or B6, and so yeah, I think that's very cool. I like useful practical things. I've had a few like book band things that I actually haven't used, but I like that you can hook the pen to it and also like include extra things like cartridges or, or whatever, whatever you may need, an ink sample or two. Um, um, I don't know, whatever you would need to carry with you. Like additional supplies instead of just being a pen sleeve or whatever. Like, yeah, I like it. Uh, I think it'll be very useful. So yeah, so here we go. Here's our uh, samples. And yeah, and again, another look at our uh, swatches. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you got the ink flight, uh, which one was your favorite? Or if if you haven't gotten the ink flight, did you have a favorite of any of these or inks that you might um, uh, decide to look into further? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I will see you again very soon. We've got some swatching videos coming up and some other things, and I'm very excited. So I'll see you soon. Take care. Love you all.